Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be playing in a tournament which is called the uh, Le Chess Quarantine Liga where essentially there are I believe nine teams in every division and each, well twice a week in each tournament which is on a Thursday and a Sunday the top three teams get promoted to the next division and the, the bottom three get relegated and all the middle ones stay where they are so far, the team I'm playing in has more or less gone up one one division every every week. So hopefully, I can help to get us into the fifth division. At the moment, I'm in division six, and as it's a very fast time control, three minutes with a zero second increment, so three minutes flat. Tournament will be an hour and forty minutes. I can't really show this on my uh, laptop or using my laptop because. Uh, it's too fast, my laptop's too slow. So I found a way around it. Uh, on an incognito tab, I'm going to be looking at my myself playing the matches, which I will actually be doing on my phone. So, okay, this is just showing the last game I played, which was a, a rapid play game about 20 minutes ago or so. In about 30 seconds, I will be paired, and the screen should, hopefully, switch to the game I will have just started. I've dropped a bit in my rating recently. I'm now about 2250, uh, partly because I'm doing all these tournaments, <laughs> which, which uh, the shorter the time control, the worse I tend to do. And three minutes is the lowest you can do on, at uh, lowest time limit on Blitz. So I'm not exactly expecting to gain loads of rating points. It's mostly just about getting the team into the next division. And in the next five or six seconds, I should be paired with somebody. Here we go. Right, why is it not? There we go. It's giving me. There we go. <laughs> it was not on, not registering on my mobile, which was a uh, very bad start, start. Start. Anyway, onto the game. Playing a French. They exchange French very well. All right, I'll do the C5 stuff, trying to win the game. Generally, White should hold off taking me, which they have done. I will simply develop with knight c6, and then, well, essentially in some lines you want to castle queen side, but here that's kind of been been uh, stopped. I'll try this c4 move. I've seen it done once or twice before. It's a rare move, but it's not as bad as it first appears. And knight d2, yeah, bishop e7 to prevent any checks on e1 from their rook, or an e2 from their queen. And then I will castle. B3, yep, trying to undermine the pawn. I want to keep it with B5. Hopefully I can still keep it with A6. Uh, this will keep like, my space advantage. Uh, the only problem is that I am trading off the bishops, which could be considered a slight concession. Overall, though, not unhappy with my position so far. Slight extra space. Uh, pin on them, and they, they're going a5, trying to make make my bishop look silly. I think, I think queen d6 is a good move, connecting my rooks. Also keeping an eye on my e7 knight, just in case things go pear-shaped. And white is, yeah, is thinking about getting rid of my, my bishop somehow. I am actually going to play ooh bishop h5 or bishop f5 it's hard to hard to figure out which one's stronger I'm going to go bishop f5 simply to uh, force the bishops off and I've pre-moved which isn't showing on the screen that if they take with their bishop I'll take back with my knight all right knight to e5 well just to avoid any embarrassments I will play this move then knight c6 just doesn't Feel right. I prefer knight g6. If they take me with the uh, port with the knight, I'll have to take with a pawn. I'm not sure which one to take with though. The f pawn is interesting, but instead they have elected to take on b5. So I'll take. Now the rooks can get traded if they so wish to happen. Yeah, queen there is a good move, but I do seem to be winning a pawn. So I don't see why not. Let's win the pawn. It's not a huge deal, though, because my d-pawns are backward pawn. Knight f3 is an excellent move. 
they're going to go knight d4 and have a, a nice a nice knight where it is uh but i still feel like i should have an advantage here somehow uh i want to be playing i want to basically put my queen on d7 so that it's very 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 strong there i don't particularly want to lose the b5 pawn so what I might do is put my knight onto d6. Yeah, and they're going rook a5 to attack the pawn. Then if I take with the rook, they take a uh, difficult one. Uh, all right, so, okay, rook takes knight e4. So if they take on b5, I can take on c3. Or if they take with their knight, I can play rook to b8 and aim at the knight with a pin. They've done queen takes. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, they did queen takes because it. Um, yeah, naturally, if if I take back, the knight covers it. Uh, I'm still going to try though with rook b8. Yeah, and rook there. So now, do I want to play c3? That's the big, uh, big question. I can't do it though because c3. Uh, oh, sorry, d4 takes c3. They take with their knight, and that, that avoids all my. All my plans. So I'm going to go knight to uh, d2. Their rook is hopefully being deflected and now I was thinking knight b3 might be best. Um, or do I play d4? I'm very low on time so I need to be thinking about moves not not just you know playing slowly like this. All right I'll take. I can't see why not. And then rook a5. And then don't blunder. Put my rook behind the pawn. Surprisingly, my um, my king is a bit weak. Uh, because of rook b6 to b8. So now I just need to be uh, pushing my own past pawns. Right. Now I'll, I'll win this pawn just to make things easy for myself. And then save my knight by putting it over to say f5. And hopefully I can I can win with this excellent uh, mating attack like this. And they resigned. Perfect. Okay, so I won the first game with that uh, maneuver, knight to g3, and then mating on h1. Got a bit fortunate down to you know, just only 20 seconds or so. But good start to the tourney. Our team is, at the moment, second place with 14 points. And, ooh, an FM. Wonderful. All right, let's play e4. Play it something I know. Playing c6. Ah, the Karakhan. Okay. All right, I'll play the main line with this stuff. They're playing the main line, bishop f5. Yeah, and then e6, h, yeah, push the bishop back. Bishop d3, they take, I take with the queen. Knight f6 is the main move. Bishop d2 is the move I've been playing most recently. And I like to wait to see which way they castle, generally. So now I have the choice, which way do I castle? I'm actually going to do... Oh, I could do queenside here. I'm going to go knight to e4 first. Try and get g4, g5 rolling. Then... Okay, trade of queens, alright. This is a bit dull, um, but dull is is uh, okay. And if they trade knights, which they're doing, I'll offer a draw here. But no, they want to play it on. That's, that's admirable. Uh, alright, which way do I do this? Okay, rook. rook. Oh dear, oh, near, oh, nearly blundered there. Um, bishop g5 check nearly wins. Okay, King d3 avoiding that. That would have been embarrassing. Takes, 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 takes. Looks like it's going to be a lot of captures in the next couple of moves. Oh, it's a clever move. All right. Trade, trade, and then I'm, I'm hoping to play rook c1 just to trade off even more pieces. And I think with my two pawns on the queen side, on A and B, against their A pawn, I might have a tiny edge, but I don't think it's enough to win. 
I reckon that he's thinking, or she's thinking the same thing. Perhaps giving me the C file is, is prudent here. I've got a time edge though, time advantage, 30 seconds or so, which is always a good thing. And F6 has been chosen, so this is a, trying to go E5. Yeah, it's a good move actually, uh, because if I go Rook C1, tr takes takes with my bishop, then they can go E5. Uh, and then I can't do what I want. I could go A3 first and then push their bishop somewhere. I don't know, maybe this is good. It also slightly advances my pawns. And then b4. So I can still go rook c1 at any time. And if they go e5 now, they're losing the pawn. Uh, Alright, so now b5 and then... Yes, might... Oh, but then rook, rook c4 is always an annoying move, actually. Now I'm going to play this and, and trade. And then avoid them having a, a killer... Um, a killer like space advantage with the moves g4 and f3. Yeah, g5. I don't want to take on Passon yet, or ever. <laughs> so I'm going to play f3. So now everything's kind of closed up. Um, I think b5 must be good here because my bishop's guarding the a3 pawn. Not a very key feature of the game. And then the bishop's going round. I don't want them to go all the way round to. Uh, some of those squares. So bishop c3, making sure that everything is guarded. I don't believe that they can trade everything on d4, because again, my past pawns on a and b are just so strong. Now I'm going to push a5. Alright, so I've got the a5 move in. Ooh, I can nearly do b6. b6, pawn takes a6, and bishop, a8, bishop b8 at the last moment. Uh, so I want to go bishop b3, b b4, and then if bishop d8 I win, which is the move I'm hoping for. And if they don't, uh, oh, does this not win? b6 takes, oh no, it doesn't quite win. Oh, very nice move actually. Uh, so here, oh, very tricky. Do I play bishop c5 or not? Is the key point. Oh, wow, it's really close. I think I'm going to play bishop c5. Because, oh, they've taken it, okay. King there. So is this is this winning for me or not? It might be winning, uh, but I've only got a few seconds to, to decide if I am winning. Uh, a b, a6, king, king c7. Oh, it's very, very close. I'm going to go king, king c3, because I can't, I can't work it out. Okay, well I know I can't I can't be losing this. Right, and then push. Forcing him to the edge and draw, I think. But maybe not, maybe maybe I do win. Uh oh dear, dear lord. Um D three push Oh I don't know, I think I win, but I don't know. It's so close. Ah, they played the right move. Then I promote to a queen. And win the pawn. I just need to take all their pawns. Oh dear. That's not good. Okay, it might be a draw, but I might just barely win it with no time. Oh dear, they're not making this easy for me. I'm do I know I'm doing this really badly, but I'm down to six seconds, so it's not not entirely easy to do this. Okay, and then I think I win. Then they resigned. Perfect. Okay, two for two. Not bad. Not bad at all, but very close. With both of us only having a couple of seconds. And our team is first place, 36 points. Second is uh, a team that's French. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't say because I have a terrible French accent. Uh, 27 points. And there's another team which is 26 points. And another one, 25 five points. So we're ahead by about nine, but that can easily swing either way. First place is uh, the team that's team that's in second have a player who's on the most points, but we've got a few a few of our own players who are in second and third. All right, so I'm now playing 
pretty strong player, another 22.50s, a halfway mark, and I'm pretty close behind them, or actually just in front of them. They're taking a little bit of time to make a move, though. If they don't make a move in the first 15 seconds, I actually win on default. But they've moved, and unfortunately it's one of my least favourite openings. But I have to make do. I'm going to go D4 no matter what they do. And confuse them, maybe. It's the, I think it's the Max Lange attack, but I might be might be mixing up the names of the openings. If Knight takes E4, which is the main line, then I know what to play. Okay, so rookie one to pin them. D5 is the main move. I trade. They take with their queen. Knight C3. My knight cannot be taken due to both the pawn and knight being pinned. Queen A5 main line. Knight takes. Bishop E6 is the main move. Knight here. Castles. Queen side is correct. Knight takes. And I believe rook... I think it's actually rook takes, but bishop g5 is an alternative here. And I, meant, I, think, I think bishop d6 is the main line. Bishop g5 and rook e8 is, is the sort of position I know. Yeah, rook e8. And I think I can trade. Uh, oh, no, I can't. Oh, I can, yes. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can trade. And I think it's queen d... Queen d3, I want to say. And I'm not getting mated because of uh, nice on f3 guarding e1. And I'm hitting h7, so that's another positive. Yeah, this is good. I don't know, bishop d2, just to try and avoid all the mating attacks. Bishop h4, I'm sure, is more accurate, but this is... This must be okay. Yeah, queen there, and then does c3 work? I mean, I don't know if it works, but it might do. The pawn's pinned, so I'm making use of the pin. And if bishop c5, maybe I can still. Oh, okay, they're not doing it. They're not. They're not doing a silly move. All right. Well, I'll do this. Now I'm the one who's pinned, <laughs> so I still need to be a bit careful of of stuff. Knight e5 is the move I'm expecting, but no, they are. Oh, I see. They're wanting just to go into a slightly better ending with my weak isolated pawn. Then I... Ooh, which way should I play this? Yeah, I'm going to play rook d1 so that I can play king f1 and kick out the uh, the, the rook. Ah, uh, yes, bishop f4. So if I take, they take, and it's not so good for me. So bishop c3 to try and get rid of them. Rook c2 is probably accurate. Yeah, then g3 to get rid of them. Because they're annoying me. Oh, very nice move. I'd missed that. All right, time to charge at them. Try and uh, try and get what I can out of this. So I've got a passed f pawn. That's that's my my salvation here. Okay, and then trade. And pff, I can't really defend the pawn, so I have to try and move the king up. And even though black is now a pawn up. Yeah, they're only a pawn up somehow. Uh, I do have this rook cutting off their king. Uh, ah, yes, good move. Uh, what do I play here? King King g4, maybe? Oh, no, it's losing, isn't it? <laughs> rook, to, rook takes, of course. All right, oh dear, it's totally lost now. I'll play on a few moves, but it's, it's not looking good. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then f4, and hope they blunder. Win one, at least I won a pawn, that was something. And then their king is sort of in Zugzwang, but not really. F6, and then they push, and I push, they take me, I push up, and then, then they promote their pawn, and I resign. Yeah, they played it very well there. I uh, gave them a bit too much in that game. Bishop F4 to C1 was an excellent plan, though, which I hadn't seen. I should have probably taken off the bishops and then defended really passively and just barely held on for the end. All right. Well, okay. Well, I'm two one up. That's at least at least something. And I've got yet another game now with a twenty one ninety, very strong player. I'm going to play c five, Sicilian opening. G three. I don't know that line at all. That's very interesting. All right. I'll play a kind of Scandi opening. And ah, yes. Okay. That that is a very interesting move. Queen f three. I'd missed that one. So bishop g two, keeping the tension. And then yes, I'll take. I'm assuming knight takes on knight c6. So I haven't really, you know, given uh, given white too much to worry about, but at least I've got an independent position. 
which, to be honest, I don't know this kind of position that well. Uh, I sort of know what to do, but it's one of those ones where things can easily spiral out of control if I'm not very careful. So bishop e4 is the move I want to do. Okay, if I want to do it, I may as well do it then. The point of this is that it gets rid of that annoying bishop. And then, ah, very clever. So that if... Yeah, okay, so if I take... They take, I take with my bishop, they take with their bishop, I take with my knight, they take on b7, rook b8, bishop back to g2, and then knight e2, oh no, knight c2 would work. No, I can take this. Yeah, I've got knight c2 at the end of all this. Oh, knight takes. Ah, that's a move I hadn't considered. Alright, well I'll take here, they'll take, I'll take. Okay, they've got an isolated pawn, wonderful. So my, my position is still slightly better. Oh, do I pin myself or do I play boring? Oh, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll mouse slip instead and play really bad. Okay, I'll play king e7. <laughs> I meant to castle. Uh, all right, so what's funny is that my position is probably still like slightly better or maybe equal, even though I've mouse slipped. Okay, so a6 doesn't work. Okay, rook, a, rook d... Eight, rook c2. I thought they'd go d5 here. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll do this. I'll. Oh, no, they're not even letting me uh, take off their, their edge. Okay, well, king d7 to avoid any, any disasters. And this position is, I expect, completely equal. But they do have that pawn on d4, which is a permanent weakness. Knight e4 instead has been chosen. Okay, let's trade. Trade my way out of danger, then bishop e7. And if they go knight to c5, I'm willing to take that knight and then take on that, take their bishop, which they have not let me do. Okay, I'll rook c8 to, again, keep, and avoid any any chances for them to, you know, embarrass me with tactics. If knight c5, I will definitely take. They are thinking it over. I've wasted a bit of time with my my strange manoeuvres and calculations, which took a bit too long. But, all right, I've still kept a slight edge. F5 nearly works, but not quite. I think I should improve the king. Because they can't play a4. Or play... Oh, no, they can't, still can't play a4 or b4, b5. So I can now run my king in to a4 and then take the a3 pawn. So that's my edge. That's my, my advantage. Yeah, knight c5. I believe I should either take take it or not take it, right? Um, b6, move the knight. How are they going to stop me? They're going to go knight a4 to b2. So, all right, let's take it. And whichever way they take, I'll put, put my king to b5, I think. But just in case they try and be fancy and don't pre-move and do something weird like a4. Gee, yeah, what, what could they do that wouldn't let my pre-move king b5 be good? Yeah, this looks very nice for me. Um, I still need to be a bit careful of their a, uh, b and c pawns running up. Yeah, so I'm going to push this. Um, yeah, all right, g6. So their king doesn't have many access points. It does have... Um, actually, it does have e5, so let's just be careful and avoid all this stuff. Okay, get that, get that bishop, pesky bishop out of the way. Um, okay, there, there, there. Okay, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to win. I'm going to win a pawn, I think. But, but this could spell danger for me. But I have to do this with 40 seconds on my clock. Yeah. Let me go here. So luckily, my knight's hitting the, the key square. And I have, the, I have my A-pawn as well that can charge up the board. So, yeah, and then don't don't horribly blunder my position by playing this. And then king c6 is coming. Uh, and if they put play bishop d6, knight c8, and I'm just able to stop the pawn. And then don't let my own pawn drop. 
which it wouldn't have dropped anyway. Uh, okay, so here I'm letting them have the pawn. Uh, okay, but if they take it, okay, I can take that bishop and then be winning. Uh, but it's still difficult, 23 seconds. They've luckily only got one second, though. So that means that I should win it. Yeah, I won on time. With a nice pawn chain at the end, and a finkessoed king, with but, but the wrong pawns that were finkessoing it. All right, I thought that was a good game. I didn't really equip myself too well. Like, I made a few mistakes there. And I was number 23 in the list, because I'm assuming a lot of people have berserked where you lose half your time but get more points if you actually win your match. And I'm number yeah, I'm number 21 now in the listings. Only on 6 points. Why don't why did it be on 6? Cuz I won Oh, I see, yeah, cuz I won two games and lost and won. So I never got a streak of wins. 2500, that very very strong player then. Not doesn't either have it doesn't have a title or hasn't claimed one. Either way, not to be taken lightly. I'm going to play the Budapest, which I know back to front. And then do this and this, and then castle. They castle as well. I play knight g6, they play bishop g3, I take. So we're still in theory where black has a slight disadvantage, but white has to play very accurately to, to prove it. And also this line is not that well known, so that usually my opponents end up playing the right kind of moves, but not the most accurate. So here, I believe it's meant to be queen e7 is the right move. And I'm meant to play d6 no matter what they do, really. So a lot of players here play rook a c8, uh, c1, which is not technically the best move, but still gives white a pleasant position. Yeah, okay, so I go in d6. And yeah, n next I think I'll play knight to e5 to try and get rid of that bishop. Uh, but I guess then bishop e4 is a move. Eh, difficult. So here, the B pawn is dropping if I move the bishop. It's so, alright. Rook, rook to e8 to put my rook in a better place. Yeah, rook there. Okay, so now knight to e5. I don't want that bishop on the board. Yeah, so I'm going to play... Uh, I'm actually going to play f5, possibly. Almost definitely a, a, the bad move. But it does, it does prevent their knight moving, because I have certain discovered attacks on their bishop. And they're losing valuable seconds, which is another another plus for me. I may even play rook b8 coming up, so that then I can play the bishop on c8 to move. It's a very ugly looking thing. Alright, well let's go a5 then. If they go b5, then hooray. Alright, well I've activated the rook. That's at least something. Uh, rook a3? Then maybe I can go b6 and hold the um, hold the pawn. Yeah, maybe c5 is the best move. Trying to clamp down on on my spade on sort of the, the position. Uh, all right, well I can go b6 now, but oh, it does allow the, the bishop to c. No, it doesn't allow bishop c6. What am I talking about? My knight will attack it. Yes, and they've they've done the move I thought they would do. Uh, it's probably worth it for me to trade. Do I trade again? I just don't know if I should trade again. Alright, I'm going to go for some, some silly attack, which will never work because of this. Uh, I thought I had a I thought I had a move here, but maybe it's rubbish. Yeah, very clever move. Knight f1. I'd missed that. Missed knight f1. Alright, well done. Uh, okay, rook takes is probably okay here. And try and go for some some ridiculous attack, which will never work in a million years. But you know, it makes them makes them think for a few seconds. At least that's at least that's a moral victory, I suppose. Oh, I nearly played rook a two. That <laughs> doesn't quite work. But rook a two to then force them away. Oh wow, rook d four. Okay, well, queen h6 aiming at e3, and they've taken me. I have to take back, I think. Rook takes... Oh, wow. Okay, rook there was even better. Rook f4, maybe there's a tactic. Probably is, but I don't see what it is. Um, Alright, rook a5. 
can't play d5, can I? Right, let's do this. Um, then rook h5, trying to go for some, go for some silly tactics. Essentially offering them a draw, but they're not, they're not biting. So check. Okay, I can't trade queens unless I win, <laughs> essentially. Oh, it's so close to mate. Wow, so close to mate there, but I can't make them on h1. It's a knight. Pesky knight on the board. Okay, well, queen a1 prevent... Oh, no, queen, uh, queen d4 check. Um, right, we'll check, just in case. Um, not sure what to do here, so I'm just randomly moving around. Yeah, very nice move. Nearly trapped the rook. I'm going to try... Try going for them with all sorts of ridiculous moves as usual. Force them back and then try to make it look like I've got something. The check and then they uh, they probably win the pawn. Yeah, they do win the pawn. Oh dear. Well, it's going to be amusing because they're going to have to try and mate me with a knight and bishop. <laughs> Which is going to be so tricky for them to do. With what thirty seconds on their clock, it's possible though. And the plan is to run to the corner. There, stalemate. I survived. <laughs> it's notoriously difficult to win those endings, and also I was in the what's called the wrong corner. They need to make me on a on a corner square which their bishop controls so i'd only be mated on a8 or h1 so i got lucky there very lucky all right this next game i'm white yet again uh playing a 2370 so they are just a touch stronger than me and i'm gonna go d4 for a change and they're doing the budapest wonderful and g5 i haven't seen this for ages g5 it's a really sort of nice move all right and then h4 I think they're meant to play h6, that's right. Then we trade everything over here. And I can't really remember the theory, so I'm going to play queen d2. So I can take on uh, g5 if I want to, but that's too complicated for me. So I will simply play knight takes. And, and hope that I have a slight edge with um, their weaknesses on the board. All right, 95 is interesting. I'm not sure if I meant to take with the queen or not. All right, let's go for it. Take with the queen. C6. All right, come back with queen d2. Preventing queen a5 check. Bishop e2 defending everything. And we may end up both castling here with our... Yeah, our king's being a touch weak, so I'm going to take the time out to put it in the corner. Now, f4 is a good move, maybe. Maybe it's a good move. Take the bishop. So I've got some weak pawns, I won't lie, but I have the bishop pair for now. Ooh, maybe maybe that was a mistake actually doing that. Yeah, that might have been an error. Alright, queen, queen there just to avoid any discovered mating attacks on b2. We can trade queens. And yeah, I was also threatening to take their rook because their pawn was pinned. Which they were never going to fall for, but it was a nice attempt at least. All right, bishop c2 attempts to win their pawn. Uh, there's no mate on d1 either. I'm going to play, probably play a3 quite soon to avoid this stuff. Or even this move might work. Okay, let's go here. Because if they take my queen, I take on f5 first with check. And that wins me a pawn. Okay, so I've won a pawn. Uh, they could play queen e6, I suppose. But no, they're not going to. Right, so I've pawn up. That's good. Just need to work out how in the world I win this game. I can't trade off my dark squared bishop for their knight, because that's very likely a draw. I think I have to push my g-pawn up the board. Uh, okay, avoid all trades of the bishop. And then... Okay, let's improve the king, actually. Improve the king. It's much easier. And then g4... And here I don't mind if they do knight takes bishop on f5, because I can I can connect my pawns together. 
they're not biting they're not letting me do it so e4 Ooh, i can do go for a trick here with g5 they haven't fallen for it they're too good too good a player i hope they'd take my pawn i can then take their knight with with advantage okay so knight there i can't really push onwards without my king but but the problem there is oh wow they're doing that move okay the problem here is that if i if i move my king too far up the board i could really throw the game away yeah good move all right let's do this push now they're starting to get uh, a very good structure here um all right well this move will just anchor everything together And takes now, yeah. Knight f2 to run around with the um, run around with the king. I'm actually hoping they get an opposite colored bishop ending now. Uh, oh, that's true. Actually, they have that move. That's that's pretty good. Uh, all right. Can I push? Uh, can I push this move? Uh, yeah, that's really, really good. That's a very annoying move. Uh, what can I play here? Okay, bishop, bishop there maybe. And then this check. I think I've thrown it away there. That was terrible. Complete. I was totally uh, I was way ahead there in that position. Yeah, I was way ahead, and I just threw it away. That's really annoying. Again, this is what happens when you play three-minute blitz chess. It's it's rather cruel and punishing when you make a big mistake like that. And I don't really know why I'm playing on it. They're obviously going to be able to win with this amount of time. That's uh, just a bit annoyed at that. It's a really bad play. That's mate in like two moves or so. Queen f1 and queen c1 to mate. Or they can do it this way. And then mate on mate on d2 probably. Yeah. Oh dear, that was a really bad game. All right. Well, our, the team at least is on 93, with second place being on 81. Uh, so that's that's at least a good sign. And I have got uh, I've got an uh, English opening. So I'll play I'll play a c6 move order, which is meant to be kind of okay, but if white plays d4, but they often don't play that because it looks uh, a bit odd to play that in the English. Uh, all right, bishop d6 to hold the pawns, and a6 to hold the knight where it is. I'm not really sure where to put the bishop, to be honest, but I, li I like f5 for some reason. There is knight takes d5 here, but often the white uh, pawn structure is quite bad. I can't remember if I can go e4 or not. Let's go for it, e4. And uh, knight or pawn, yeah, pawn takes. Knight g5 is the move I'm expecting to happen, because it often does, but no, knight d4. And I don't have any clever moves, do I? Uh, Alright, takes, and then rook e8. Possibly bishop c7 next move, and yeah, swing the, swing the pieces around. Or bishop e5. Looks more active playing bishop e5. And then maybe queen e7 to avoid uh, their rook taking my queen if they uh, if they allow me to do this. The only good thing is I'm pinning their knight to their bishop once their queen moves. How will they how will they choose to approach? Queen c5 is a pretty solid move. But no, takes. Okay. So I've activated both my rooks in the centre of the board. They can't take on e4 yet. I've got too many pieces on guard. Uh, their rooks in the centre might be a bit better than mine, but ah, knight there is a clever move. Which way do I go? Uh, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll dominate the knight with b5. So the knight now can't move without without good reason. And they could play rook c6, potentially, but it does look a bit strange playing that move. I think knight d5 is a good uh, good.
good domination of their knight. And maybe I can play e3 uh, at some at some point, or bishop g6, and then then like to f5 to uh, control the light squares. Ah, and they're playing this move, rook b6, uh, rook c5. I mean, ah, okay, I haven't seen that move. So can I play knight to e7, or is that dreadful? Could be dreadful. <laughs> bishop e6 isn't very good though. Knight e3 doesn't really do me a lot of favors. Alright, let's go knight e7 then. Then perhaps I can simply try and trade off all the uh, all the pieces. Uh, hang on to the uh, f5 pawn, I think. I see they're going for uh, they're going for this h5 move. Uh, and h5 would win. So. I don't know why I'm spending so long on these moves. I should be making them instantly, to be honest. F5 does hold it temporarily, but then I will most likely lose it to H5, Bishop F7 takes. And run away. Okay, well, I'm going to do this and then play Rook D8. Then Knight moves. And then. I thought I could hold it with something, but I can't. Alright, F6 then. H5 bishop takes. They've got they've got what they wanted. And try to uh, try to hold an inferior position basically. Ah, but there's bishop b7 of course. Okay, well I dominate their bishop now. Okay, let's move on to dominating the knight. And then what I'm hoping for is that my king will actually be able to come over and and deal damage to the to the bishop on a6. Okay, bishop d7 to continue. King d8. Uh, and then bishop c6 will be my next move to try and uh, try and go for them. Very strange position here. Ah, yeah, nice. Uh, can I do that? No, it doesn't work. I'm down to only a few seconds, so I should really be not spending so long. I've got the A pawn, potentially. Knight e 5s coming. Oh, but of course they do A takes B, that's silly of me. Alright, well, they're, they're winning. Try to hold their bishop with this rubbish. Take me, and then uh, H6, trying to gain Tempe or something. Uh, yeah, it's lost. This is not, not good at all. Not playing very well now. Down to 14 seconds, so I could resign any second, but I'm just going to go for a trick. <laughs> and King F6? <laughs> no, they, no, they got mated. Oh dear, that was awful. I managed to somehow lose points. <laughs> um, right. So I'm on seven right now. And I'm on 50 50. I've got three wins, three losses. And I think I've. I don't think I've, I think this is the weakest player I've played, actually, 21 45. So I'm probably playing an average of about 2300. Though I'm not perfect at maths. Hopefully I get someone a little bit easier this game. 2200, so not much easier than uh, probably the average of players. Alright, uh, English opening then. Now I'm the one playing the English. And they're choosing to play the main lines. And here, the idea normally is to go a3, b4. So I'm going to do that here. And then a5 prevents me doing it, uh, which is... Uh, a plan that they black can often play. So bishop e3 is an alternative idea where you try and get an, a knight to c5 usually and then black will often give up one of their bishops for the knight on c5. Instead they're choosing this option. Alright, let's go knight g5 to go for tricks. 
knight e4 to c5 is the plan. So I'm still still sort of being being true to my original uh, ambitions of knight c5. Rook, rook c1 is another thing I can try. Uh, and here, ah, knight c5 isn't really playable because of the, uh, the move uh, f4, I think. Yeah, that's annoying. All right, knight back to c3 then. I prevented bishop e6, though, which is often the move they want to make. Okay, bishop d2. I'm just playing it, playing it very sort of passively at the moment. And e3 is my is my plan to get rid of that knight. Uh, yeah, because now bishop to uh, b3 is the move. All right, may as well take the pawn. Then rook takes b2, I think. Uh, but hopefully I can now maybe get a bit, a bit more freedom with my pieces. Oh, missed that move. All right, e3, try and get rid of that knight. So f takes, f takes, and then maybe rook takes rook is, is the best option here for black. Yeah, I've definitely played it too passively, really, with uh, my style. I think I should have played rook c1 earlier, to be honest, trying to gain control of the c-file. But this, these these English positions, I don't really like them at all. I should learn more lines to avoid having to uh, go into this stuff. And how's it looking so far? I suppose, yeah, knight, knight there was what I was thinking they would play. Uh, do I give the bishop pair away? Maybe it's maybe I have to knight to e4, then take back with the knight on d2. Possibly knight c4 is is okay, but no, they've they've lunged at me with this. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Oh, he offers a draw. Yeah, I'll take the draw. Maybe there was something there that he that he thought was really good for me. I couldn't see it. Uh, possibly queen b1 was okay, but. Yeah, I was not, not liking that position at all. Alright, well, our team is 14 points above the next team up, so we're doing well. Finally got someone below, like, 2200. Um, I'll do a French this time. Actually, I did that last time, didn't I? Alright, I'll play a Strange Alakine for a change. Then switch into some kind of weird Franco-Sicilian type, type of position. Yeah, I've no clue what's going on in this in this line at all. But it doesn't look as bad as some of the other stuff I've played in the past. All right, I'll play e d5 to transpose it into a sort of semi-French. And I've got maybe I've got a small initiative. Trade and queen h4 going for going for the whole uh, the whole lot. And as long as I don't lose the queen, which is famous last words, I'm sure I'll lose it in a few turns. Uh, I may have a little bit of pull here in uh, on the king side. Yeah, g3. So can I play queen h3? Knight f4 would trap my queen. Hooray, I didn't lose my queen. And then bishop takes, pawn takes. Is okay, but if they move their knight, then I catch them. All right, h4 then. Try and open up the uh, h file with with uh, swiftness. F takes will be, is I suspect their move. And how do I play this? Do I do I move the queen out? That's the big question. I suppose I have to. So queen takes will be their move. Bishop d7 is my plan. And yeah, the trade of queens is inevitable, I think. But the good news is my knight gets to d5 with with uh, some advantage, uh, some compensation, I should say. Ooh, could I do bishop b5 here? Yeah, just as I say that, they're about to do the same thing to me. All right, bishop b5. <laughs> and then trade rook c8. 
I've got the C file, so some small, small compensation here. I don't know if they want to give up their bishop for my uh, my knight, but I guess I'll put them to the test with this move. Pre-move king takes, and they have taken, all right. So that the extra pawn they're ahead by is actually the pawn on um, on uh, d4. Okay, and don't don't throw away my my pawn advantage. I think I'll play this. All right. So they they have managed to force me. Ah, oh, I should have played rook to um. That's bad. I should have played rook over there. All right. Well, I'll play I'll play it back round to to f8. Or to, or to c8, maybe. Back to f8. So rook d1 is my next plan, but they're stopping me. Alright, maybe it's a draw. I mean, it's not ideal drawing with somebody who's 2,000, but it might be. might be the best idea. I'll spend a move just slowly improving just a little bit, and then see if they do the same thing. They move their king up, though. I can play like rook g1 and, and the like. Alright, rook h1 then. Now I might want to play rook h7 to guard and attack both the pawns. So if they play rook back to d2, I take on h4. Hmm. Yeah, they've definitely got some problems here with their defences. I think I win a pawn here. Because if king f4, I take on h2. And with this move, can I play this and threaten mate in one with rook, if they play rook f4? <laughs> I highly doubt they'll play it, but it's a nice, uh, nice threat to have. King, oh, they played it. Oh, dear. Checkmate. Oh, dear. That was, that was not good at all for me or them, really. I don't think I played it too well. All right. Our team's now 18 points ahead, over halfway through the tournament. Uh, 136 to 118, and the third team is on 105, fourth on 97. So unless we completely implode, which is always a possibility, then I think we're fairly safe. And amazingly, I haven't yet won three games in a row, because I keep playing all these 2200s and 2300s and the like. And now, as if on cue, a 2394. I mean, I have been 2400, but these players do are very, very tough, and they berserked. Wonderful. Okay. Oh yeah, they're playing a line that uh, my friend used to play. All right, I'll do this. Knight b3. Hold hold the pawn at all costs. Okay, I forget that. Don't 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 hold the pawn at all costs. <laughs> uh, try and do this and give back the pawn to get the bishop pair. Knight d4. Oh yeah, that's a good move. Um, okay, rookie rook e. B5. Bishop e2. Be safe. Knight f3 to trade. Trade, trade, trade. Bishop f3 to hold everything. Uh, queen d2 to again hold it. Bishop d4 to prevent d4 going for me. Um, queen c2 because there's no checks. Oh, a3 is a nice move. I'll take it. I can't. Uh, I can't work out if taking it is good or bad. Okay, then trade. Then not really sure what to play here. Okay, bishop e5. I've no no idea. H4, nice move. So d is the threat. Okay, I'll attack their rook. I'll take their rook. And then not play g3, because that would be bad. Uh, okay, rook to the end. Okay, and then don't blunder into a mate. Okay, hopefully I don't blunder into a mate, but there's always, it's always a chance I do. Uh, yeah, that's a possibility. Um, all right, h4. I don't see a mate. There's no, there's, there's no um, strange checks that I see either. So my plan is to take and then play rook h1. Oh no, I can't play rook h1. That'd be awful. I'd lose a rook and then, then maybe lose the game. That'd be very bad. I just love my beautiful bishop, which is uh, just got such great protection here. All right, f3 to then go rook h1. They seem to be surviving this. Very nice. 
Right, is Rook H8 a move? Then go Rook G8 and try to try to get something here. Rook E5 is also a move. Okay, Knight F2 takes. I'll take the Rook. Not not falling for any tricky tactics. Uh, rook here. Going round. Um, go across to get them. How am I not able to win this? Okay, there we go. Nice, easy win. Get two pieces for the Rook and I'm winning. Wonderful. Okay, I actually won that game against the 2390, but they did berserk, so I got a bit fortunate there. And, yeah, our team is way ahead. I think I should be on a few more points, on 11 with a streak, finally. Uh, well, two games in a row, so if I win this next game, I'll get double the points than if I won a game uh, just on its own. But there are, how many people? There's over 100 people in the tournament, and I'm only 44th. <laughs> so I'm, I'm clearly not doing that well. Okay, can I please not have... Oh, finally, someone who isn't 2300 or something. Uh, all right, I'll play a I'll play a, a Dutch. I'm playing the old Dutch, which is it's not great, but it's not dreadful. And I'm going to play really cautiously with a6, preventing knight b5s because those are always annoying. And queen h5, going for some kind of hack on them. Uh, e5 gaining space. Uh, d5 is now a bit useful for them. So, okay, well, they've done what I wanted. Uh, is knight d4 playable? I'm not sure. I'm going to play boring, knight b8, and then swing around to f6 if I need to. If they go b... Uh, okay, yes, they've... Okay, <laughs> they've forced me back so far to the edge of the board. Uh, this looks really horrible playing this. Uh, can I go b6? No, whichever pawn they push on a or b, I could push the other one to maintain something. Or I can go a5. Maybe a5 stronger. <laughs> yeah, it's a bizarre move. Bishop b7 is the other move I can try. They've gone queen c3. I don't see the point of it, so bishop b7. Yeah, e4. So do I take or not? I'm not going to take it. I'm going to play f4. Again, hacking them. Trying to go for some some amazing attack. d4. Alright, okay. Now we're talking. Um, hmm. What do I play here? I mean, bishop f6 would be a good move if they didn't have c7. Alright, rook c8. And I suppose it's me that's got the space disadvantage, or the, the the lack of space, for want of a better term. So I will trade pieces. Can I do bishop f6? That's the move I want to want to see if I can do. Maybe not. Maybe I take with the queen so that we trade queens as well. They don't want the queen trade. Not very nice of them. I'll try and make you trade queens. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so we got the, I got rid of the space dis disadvantage, or lack of space, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, bishop h3. That's the annoying move that I missed. Ah, that's that's very bad news. But they didn't play it. Okay. Um, Alright, take here. And then... Okay, so they took with the rook. Sometimes so that means I don't have a problem with c7 anymore. Can double up. And, ah, they have that move. Okay, I thought that they wouldn't have a move in response. Okay, bishop c8 then. I may have to give them a pawn. That's, that's horrible, I don't want to give them a pawn. Alright, rook f8, and then take on f2. So they're not missing me play. Uh, okay, we'll check first, see where they put the king. Um, obviously go for cheapos, go for mate. Very unlikely to fall for it, which they've not done. Uh, where to go now? Take on e4, possibly? Or play h5 and then go go for other stuff. Uh, I'm down to a minute. I shouldn't really be taking so long over decisions. 
Okay, now I'm going to go h5 to prevent rook c8 from being a like a draw by perpetual check. F3. Okay, take more pawns. <laughs> going for going for just cheap material essentially. Hmm. They do have this pawn. Uh, all right, I'm going to go for the pawn. I don't I don't like that being on the board. Yeah, very nice move. Okay. Uh all right, rook rook over there trying to go for something else. Uh, and I don't have any mates, do I? How do I not have a mate? This is uh, horrible. Um, all right, rook, rook de over here. And then we'll move the pawn so that their their rooks are tied down to the sixth rank. They have to keep keep on protecting the uh, d6 pawn. And I can play king h7 whenever I want. this. Do I want to even take the pawn? Maybe not. Maybe I push this. Try to prove that I... Oh no, they have takes. <laughs> oh dear, that's not good. It takes, it takes an h5. They didn't play it. Okay, well, do I defend myself? suppose I do. And take... Both down to really, really, really long time here. So I can win this pawn. Now I'm technically I'm winning here, but that's that's not a uh, not a certainty in this time control. Ugh. Hoping for like rook b5 and then check and hope they go rook takes. But they don't. Okay, rook behind the pawn. Push up. Okay, and they, they ran out of time. So not the best best win, but it wins a win. Now that would give me four more points instead of just two for the usual win. So I'm now 35th somehow, not even in the top 30 players. And I've got a very strong player here, 2350. So that might be a game that, that I can't win. Maybe I can win it with my trademark D4 move in this position. Uh, and then bishop there... Never know what to play here, so I'll go e5 for a change. Yeah, and then play crazy moves. Check, take them, and then bishop g5. Hope, hope this is good. Take with the king. Wow. Yeah, I suppose that is a good move. All right, knight d2, and try to swing round. Check. I guess they take me. And they're actually okay in this line. Yeah, very nice. They get to keep that d4 pawn. So I'm I'm clearly a bit worse with being a pawn down. Uh, their king position's a bit weaker than mine though, so maybe maybe I can justify being uh, a pawn down. I can play rook a d8, d1, I suppose, and then go for them. Oh, and they played queen there. Hmm, what's that about? Don't understand it. I'll play queen f4. I'm attacking c7. They also have some some minor threats. Can you spot what it is I'm threatening? Well done. It's a nice f6, which would fork their, their rook and their queen. They played queen f5. And I'm going to go for broke with taking here. They're almost certainly going to play uh, king h8, I think. Yep, and then knight g3 to avoid uh, the pin on the g2 pawn, which undefended by knight. Uh, so right now it's equal on pawns. And now it's not equal on pawns. Oh, I, I wonder if I can do this. It's probably rubbish, but I'm doing it anyway. Knight takes d4 because I can go queen e5 after they take my knight. And then take on d4. And do I play knight h5? Then, no, they play knight f5. No, I can't do it. So I'll do this instead. Can't help feeling like I'm a little bit better here. The only annoying move is queen d3. And then I may have to allow them into a position they, they like. And yes, they're preventing me 
preventing me moving my knight because I'll be mated on g2. Hmm. Did rookie 5 just do anything? Maybe not. Okay, well, queen e5 might do something. I can play rook d6 and try to try to get some sort of pin. And if they take on, if they play c3, I'll take it. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, they've they've spotted my tactic, which was to uh, essentially play rook d8 checkmate <laughs> at some stage. But I'm trying to go f5 here. I'm still I'm still fairly well defended with my king, my rook on e1, my knight on g3 of doing a good job. Knight h5 is still a threat. If they move the queen, <laughs> I should stipulate. So if they play like queen c2, oh no, queen c2 does does help. Queen c2, and then I actually would lose because of queen queen to g2 being a move. Uh, oh, they played c3. Huh. Not what I was expecting. Uh, f5, c2. Uh, takes. So I can. I don't know. I'll take it. I'll put. I'll push. Grab the queen, which I think is what they missed. Okay, and then I'm taking here. I'm not. I'm not risking stuff. Uh, nice f5. If they take me with the bishop, then they get mated. Oh, sorry, then they lose the rook. I mean, and they resigned. Wonderful. Well, that's actually that's actually a good game. I'm fairly pleased with that one. First time in several matches. I'm actually quite happy with the win. All right, and our team has been... We've been caught up a little bit. The second place team is on 164. We're on 175. Third, though, is 145, and 144 is on, in fourth. So we're 30 points ahead of the third place team, and we only need to come third to get promoted. It's looking like that will probably happen. Again, there could be some circumstances. Ah, see if I can get my revenge on this player who beat me last time. And we're playing... Ah, the Wade defense. It's been a while since I saw this. Uh, I, know, I don't know this line, to be honest. I, I've seen it in a few books, but I should I should know this better. I'm just going to kick that bishop away. I don't like it. It's too, uh, too good. Bishop g5 like a torre. And knight bd2. Just be careful of any, any nasty tactics. I'm going to copy him, putting the bishop back. We need two. E5 is on is on the on the move for me. I could have maybe played it last turn, but I wanted to have my queen there. E5 has been done. Ooh, do I go? Yeah, I'm gonna take first. And knight c4 to aim at the e5 pawn. Also preventing queen a5 check. It's a nice uh, added bonus. Queen c7, yeah. And then I don't really want to castle queen side, so I'm playing rook d1 as a as a move. Now bishop g3, simply simply re-exerting my bishop's power on the g3 square, aiming at the queen. Castles, right. So knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. I could even do knight takes, but I think I think bishop takes is more, more, you know, fitting. Now bishop c3, when the check comes. Ah, they did this move. Yes, okay. Well, queen takes, and then c3 defends my b2 pawn. Uh, I need to be a bit careful about the whole non-castling uh, route I've taken here. Uh, if they play queen a4, which they haven't played, they played this. What does this do? I don't see it. So I'll play. I'll play e5 and then castle. Hopefully, it'll take first. Finally, let's castle. Pawn up is good. It's a passed pawn as well on e5. Another another plus. Knight f4 is always a little dangerous, so I think I'll play knight uh, queen to e4, avoiding a lot of the tactics here. My knight and queen are working together to defend everything. Then I want to play rook f e1, simply continuing to hold the pawn. Uh, my knight was already guarding it, but just in case it it fell. G5, okay. Knight d4 is certainly a move here. Rook d6 is a move. I like I like queen c4 check, but not not enough to actually do it. Knight d4 looks good. 
Yes, go for it. Knight d4. And I can play knight to e2 if I want to get rid of their knight, which is certainly uh, certainly something I'm looking at. If not, I can play play knight to f5, which is another another candidate move. And I've gained nearly double their time, from almost two minutes to just over a minute. G4, wow, that is that's a move and a half. What in the world does that do? Allows queen g5, I suppose. Wow. Uh, hmm. I don't. I didn't see. Didn't see that at all. So knight f5, queen g5, h4. Oh no, the queen takes. All right. Let's go. For, let's take up the challenge, I suppose. And queen g5 is almost forced, I think. Might be able to play queen f3 to... Uh, yeah, queen g5. Then queen f3 looks okay. I don't see any knight checks they can do. Knight h5. Uh, knight f5, possibly. Uh, I'm allowing the rook on e5, the pawn on e5 to drop, but I'm a bit nervous of... Of tactics at the moment. So I'm just trying to trying to avoid any unnecessary uh, risks. Also, again, I've got double their time. So, yeah, knight to f5 is my plan. So now uh, their rook is not connected. So that way, they may have to trade rooks on e1. Yeah. And then I can't do any weird maneuvers. Uh, the weird maneuvers are the most fun. Alright, I'll check them. King over. Uh, King f1 to avoid any <laughs> any of these moves. Oh, that's a good move. Alright. Okay, no idea I'm taking them. Okay, and they're right down to six seconds, so I just need to be a bit careful and I'll win. Okay, got the queen, that's enough. No doubt it's just a few seconds anyway, and I had the advantage almost the whole way through the game. Uh, so that felt like a nice win. Yeah, alright, we're still, we're now nearly 40 points ahead of the the team that's in fourth place. So again, I don't think there's too much to worry about going into the last uh, sort of 25 minutes of the tournament. Playing another... 2200 level player, so hopefully I can get something here. Ah, the Verasov. Are they going to go bishop f4? No, they're not. Uh, I'll, tr I'll try this line, the sort of torre. Uh, let me see, where would I go now? I haven't really played this very much. Um, I think I should do this. Because I hold the pawn, and then bishop g6 is always a good safety move. f3, alright, let's take it. Wow, that that was not not on the cards. All right, c6 holds the d4 pawn in place. Bishop g6, uh, securing the bishop. Yeah, queenside castling, and I think I should I should you know go for a little bit of of play on the queenside. H3, yep. Yeah. Now the key, the, the move I have to always look out for is the move um, d5 for white. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to first play the move knight d7, so that if I do get d5 thrust at me, I can play rook d8. And they are planning d5. Okay, queen c7, <laughs> avoid this. I guess they could play bishop f4 and then we might get a drawn position, possibly, if we want to keep on uh, going back and forth, queen b6, queen, bishop f4, and the like. Okay, alright, uh, do I want the draw? That's the big question, do I want the draw? 
Uh, this is probably totally wrong, but I'm going to try this. The point is, that after d5, I might be able to play queen c7 then. But no, they're going for the knight move. Right, well, e6 to try and uh, prove that the move works. Uh, no. Okay, well here I think queen c7 is a must. And we're both, we both have about, you know, a bit under two minutes, so there's not really a lot of time in uh, advantages for either one of us. Right, well, bishop d6, this one was, it's a provo provocation move. It provokes, uh, bishop takes e6, which I think is okay for me, but they're not, they're not playing ball. Alright, a trade. I don't, I don't like this, uh, don't like this at all. And then, yeah, knight f6 to secure everything. And d5 is the move I'm thinking they'll play. But no, they have played this move. So the d5 might come with even better uh, aspects to it. So queen back to c7, yes again. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I'll do this forever now. Queen, queen c7, queen p6, etc. All right, I will, I will jump into the lion's uh, jaws with this move. Again, queen b6, <laughs> constantly trying to uh, aggravate my opponent. If bishop e3, I'm seriously looking at e5. No, they're not playing it. Uh, e5 takes, no, it's rubbish. c5, though, could be fun. Let's try c5. They're not, they're not ready to risk anything. And then do I take it? Oh, I don't know if I take it. I think I, have, I think I may have to, given the time situation. And queen a5, going for you know, cheapos. Yeah, a3, and then... Oh, it doesn't quite work. I thought this move was good, but it isn't. It isn't good. Right, bishop there. Okay, well, they're, they're playing it passively. I'm going to play h6, which does does sort of show itself to not be that, that good a move. And yeah, this move is annoying. Yeah, very nice move. All right, I'm having to play uber passively. I'm not entirely sure what I do now. <laughs> They're not either. They're just sort of wondering what, what should happen here. Uh, I'm thinking I might have to play f6 and then kick away that bishop at the cost of weakening my king's side horribly. Uh, I don't want to play. I don't want to play um, e5 yet because a queen d5 check. So first I'll play bishop f7, then play e5. Uh, yeah, the usual <laughs> queen c7. Yes, again. Ah, clever. Yes. All right. A very nice move for my opponent. Found an excellent move. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Well, I'm down. I'm down the exchange then. With just a few seconds left to go. May not be that much in terms of the uh, sort of game game theory here. Try to run them out of time. A bunch of rubbish moves. Down to two. Yeah, and I won on time. Not not the most. Uh, most beautiful way of playing. Ah, no, okay, I just realised that my internet is gone. That was very annoying. Okay, sorry about that. I, I was commenting without looking at my laptop screen. Ah, dear. Well, I won on time in the end. It wasn't actually that many moves after um, after the connection stopped. Oh, well. Okay, well, at least it's back. Now it's got this game going. 2300 level player. 22 minutes left to go in the tournament. I'm going to play the Karakhan Pseudo Panov Botvinnik with this move order. Yeah, and they're playing the move order correctly, which is, is uh, good. Good for them, not so good for me. All right, and usually here, black actually plays e6 at some point, and they give back the 
Well, they, or at least they let me keep the extra pawn at least for a little while. Because uh, here, knight takes bishop is, is a key move. Uh, but I have to be active with my pieces and play rook e1 and, and stuff. The other day I played rook fd1 and I was punished severely for it because of the move uh, bishop g4. So here they've taken, I have to undouble the pawns. And do I trade queens? I say yes. And then take this. I'm still up a pawn. I've got this d5 pawn, which is my, my salvation here. Black has the bishop pair. If they can win the pawn uh, on d on uh, any any pawn, uh, then they're fine. Here they might be fine. I have to try pushing my advantage. Rook takes, yeah, naturally. Then do I play this move? I think I have to play either d7. Well, no, I can't play d7. What am I talking about? Rook d1. Yeah, d7 would be a little bit bad because I would lose the, uh, the key uh, pawn. So it's a question of whether my d pawn is strong enough to counteract the bishop pair. Bishop f4 is the plan. Oh, but knight h5, but then bishop e5 just saves me. E5, a knight, e, knight attacked my bishop and my c3 knight with a discovered attack, but I found the move to to keep me in the game. How will black choose to play it? They'll choose to play knight f4. Uh, it lets me win a pawn. I'm going to take it. And then either push or not push. Okay, I say push. Bishop c2 is the next move coming. But no, bishop f6 is the move. Then I quickly push my push my rook in front. If, oh, but they have bishop takes um, d7. Ah, oh, brilliant move. Bishop takes d7 uh, will get the pawn for black. So now I have to trade rooks and not take, which is horrible. I have to take h6. So I missed that move. Very good move from my opponent. All right, h4, h4 then. And hoping for something to happen here. Bishop e3, going for the a pawn, even though it's defended. Uh, bishop there, okay. I don't really have a major tactic right now. All right, rook b1, trying to go for both pawns simultaneously, hoping for, hoping for something here. Uh... Okay, king g2. And then trying to hold the game because of the time, but it's not uh, its not looking good here. I nearly have mating attacks, but they don't work. They would work if their bishop wasn't on the, on the key diagonal. So I'm trying to... Oh, okay, and I've got some, I've got a minor tactic here. It's never going to work. Never work. They're not going to play b5. But if they do, <laughs> if they do play b5, then then I'll win. Oh, nice move. Ooh, I think I unfortunately I think I do have to play this bishop takes. And they may end up winning both my pawns on. Oh no, they played this move. Very nice. Okay, bishop there, and then they they take on f4. Okay, we'll go here. So I've got this. Got this pawn. And then rook g4, maybe just to gain time on me. No, this move's coming. All right, king f3. Uh, I don't see what's wrong with the taking the pawn. And maybe king g4, trying to trying to hold it. Check. So let's play f6. Bishop takes. Does that work? I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. A block to avoid running away with the king. Bishop d6 now doesn't work. And king here. My rook is on a light square, so that's a good sign. Down to 16 seconds, 15 seconds. Uh, I'm seeing if I can win it with a uh, clever tactic, but clever tactics don't really seem to happen. All right, king back to f3. Seeing if I can do something, but I'm, I'm going to give them the draw I expect. I don't know whether I'll be nasty or not. 
because it's it's one of those positions where I, I yeah I'm just gonna offer them a draw. I don't I don't really want to win in that way. They they know how to defend it. I was gonna play Bishop H8 to G7 forever. I could have run them out of time, but it's just it's just such a I don't know I don't know just so unsportsmanlike I think. Anyway, I've now got an FM. I think he this player is one of the strongest players in the tournament. So I'm leading off with my Budapest. And should be for check. Oh, they've done the knight c3 variation. Okay. No one usually does this against me because it's uh, very sort of fiddly as a, as a position for both white and black. Uh, but this is one of the only lines of the Budapest where white does actually keep the pawn. And I think I meant to play d6. d6 or knight e4 are the two main moves. So king h8 to avoid any nasty tactics. Then knight to e4. King h8 is often a key move in these positions. And g3, bishop g2, I think is recommended by Sarawan, but I might be mistaken. Uh, and I think I meant to play... I can't remember what I meant to play now. Is it knight takes? And then pawn, pawn takes would just be too good. Alright, I'll do this, knight c5. Then knight takes c6 is the move that's, that's uh, good. Yeah, they played it. Uh, right, then the queen... Does, I don't like the queen move. Yeah, it's very nice. All right, queen d7 then. Try and hold the hold the position. Ah, and then rook. Yeah, the rook is uh, pinning my deep on. So all right, I will do knight e6 to try and get the bishop pair off them. And they could play c5 here. That's that's certainly a move. Uh, and then I'll take the bishop and double their pawns up. It's possible knight e6 was the best move. Right, takes, takes, and then do I do bishop b7 or not? I say not. Rook b8. Because then if they take me, I take on f4. And I still, I don't know, I, I still feel like I've got just a tiny bit of initiative. Alright, well c5 will stop them playing c5, so that they've got doubled isolated pawns for the, for, for the foreseeable future. Bishop b7 is the other move I'm considering as well. To... Uh, skewer their queen to the bishop, maybe go for an attack, as advertised. Ooh, I don't quite win, but I can get a draw, if I wish to. Do I wish to, that's the question. Not yet, I don't want to draw. Rook f6, going for mate. I think they have to play like rook d1 or something. They've resigned, okay, good, fantastic. Right, that was a very nice win. So I'm now almost back to 2300 just in this tournament. Ooh, so the the, the, the moment we're on 221, the next team down 212, and the third team 195 with the fourth team at 191. So we're th still 30 points ahead with 13 and a half minutes left to go. I am number 14 finally. I've gone into the top 20 with these last few wins, and yet again I'm playing the same guy or, or girl. D4. All right, I'll play. I'll play D5 for a change. And Queen's Gambit not accepted. I'll play it declined. Then Bishop E7 is a new move order that I've been looking at because it stops Bishop G5 happening so early. No Bishop G5 anyway, so it's just a slight change in the move order. That's all. It kind of forces Knight to F3, not Knight to E2, which can be very dangerous. And Rook C1 is a move I've been seeing a lot. Can I play b6, or is that awful? I'll play a6, because you can often play takes and then b5. Uh, so taking is probably correct. I'm going to take with this knight. Bishop takes. Ah, yeah, of course. If I take with the queen, they then take on c7 twice. That's silly of me. All right, well, it's still not too bad. I can play c5 coming up. As advertised, let's play c5. I don't think a Greek gift will work here. Then they immediately play it and prove me wrong with the Greek gift. <laughs> um, I just don't believe it somehow. Okay, well, t uh, trade, double pawn or not double pawn. Then nice f6 to cover the Greek gift ideas, but also trading queens. And and that will yep, yeah, and they traded queens. So this will keep me with a slight, uh, slight minus I would guess, but not uh, not a disaster. 
Uh, do I go B6 or not? I like B6 generally more than I like uh, B5, but I think I should gain space with B5. And if knight E4, I don't know whether to do it or not. I should... Uh, bishop B7, A have rook C7, actually, so that's, that's not a good plan. Right, knight D5, then. Covering the key squares. Yeah, this move is interesting. All right, bishop b7 to connect the rooks, avoid avoid any uh, nasty tactics. And I have I have knight takes knight and then knight c3 check, winning the bishop pair. Uh, so can I do it now? Knight takes knight, bishop takes knight c3. Takes it. Yeah, okay, let's go for it. Bishop pair is always nice to have. Well, it's not the bishop pair, sorry. The bishop against knight is always nice to have, I should say. And take here. So, yeah, minuscule advantage, I would guess. And now, do I want to take trade rooks or not? I say not yet. I think I should wait a little bit to trade the rooks. Bishop c4 is always the move that I am able to play. Uh, so first, get rid of that knight, force it to move, and then play bishop c4. So I've anchored the, uh, the bishop. And then when they move their king, I'm not sure where to where to put the, uh, my, the my rooks. Knight g4 feels like the only move. Yeah, and it is. Bishop c4 check. King e king not e1 king there. Right, we'll improve the uh, king. Then e4 to go e5, but also to go knight e3. So I'll play this. Then bishop e6 to keep the bishop. Knight d5 is the move I'm expecting here. Rook c8 to avoid knight c7 trading off all the pieces. Uh, I want to do this move. I could saddle them with, uh, with the bad, um, bad pawn, I suppose. Yeah, saddle them with it. Let's see, see what happens. Then rook c4 to, to clamp down. And I've got no real weaknesses, so I don't think I can... Well, there's always a chance... Actually, I should mend that. There's always a chance I can lose. But I don't see a good way for them to break through. I'm going to run around with the king. Do a long... Uh, yeah, do a long, long uh, route. Okay, or I can take the pawn. That's another way of playing it. Then win the other pawn. Yeah, this will let me in a bit there, trying to do something. Uh, take this way, and then take... B4 to clamp down, gain... Okay, they've done that move. All right, so king, the king has to come in. And their pawn is weak on A5. First I will check them, and then bring my king over to go for the pawn. Ooh, difficult. Uh, do I give them all the space? I think I have to. I have to go for this. I'll let them have the pawns on um, those squares, but I'll, I'll push this one. And then push b2. That's the plan. Ah, but they, they saw it. Okay, well, I'll take here then. <laughs> then they'll take on h7, to, uh, I think. Oh, did that move? All right, well, I'll take that. Take it then. Ah, f5. Clever. Right. Uh, king a4 first, to make sure I don't lose the pawn. Rook here. Then f7, I think. Right, so push that way. I've now got I've got so many past pawns that this must be winning, but you just never know. All right, take it, <laughs> and they resigned. Yeah, I think they had to. There was what five pawns up or four pawns up, <laughs> with uh, their poor king being unable to really stop any of them. And now, ooh, first and second are very very close. We're only three points ahead. Third place is nearly twenty points ahead, and fourth place is about twenty five points behind. So seven minutes left to go. We'd really have to have our opponents suddenly sweep through and uh, win lots and lots of games. I'm still 14th with 33 points, but basically everyone in the top like 15 is all quite close together. First place is... Oh, okay, I can't look at that now because I've got another game. A 2,000. Let's go D4. That's my first move. And they've done D5. I'll play the same as my opponent did last game. 
Oh, no, delaying the Slav. No, I hate the Slav. All right, I'll play a, a rare line of the Slav to see if I get get anything different than normal. If they played like Bishop F5. No, they played Knight E4. Okay, well, that is that is different. That is very different. If I play E3, I blunder. So that's that's always a nice um uh, a nice move to make. Because if I play E3, Bishop um it's a Queen A5 check is winning. So Queen D2, making sure I don't blunder. Bishop F4. Okay, then e3, so I, I don't I don't blunder it away. Uh, I need to watch out for stuff like um, knight a6 and bishop uh, bishop to b4. So first I'm going to put my knight on c3, so it's safe and not subject to being pinned uh, that much. I mean my queen, not my knight, might be subject to being pinned. Oh, bishop there. Yeah, let's trade it off. Trade it off, gain, lot, gain a bit of space. Uh, then do I play f3? Maybe not yet. Bishop e2 and then maybe f4 later on. Or f3, f3, f4, f3, f4. I'm not sure which one. Uh, f3 is f3 is prudent, I suppose. If they play f5, I'll take it, and then they're left with doubled isolated pawns. This way, I've got a good bishop, good rook, queen, and knight are good. My a rook is is left wanting. Right, queen f2 to sort of go around on the on the king's side. Rook a d1 looks like a sensible play. Black might try knight f6 to e4 at some future date, but no, they're playing this immediately, e5. So rather than releasing the tension by capturing immediately, I'm going to play rook d1. Then they have to think about whether they take me or not. Uh, possibly they do, but then my e pawn is no longer no longer weak. And this move attacks my my pawn on uh, c4. Hmm. Uh, what should I do here? d5 is not is an option. But I don't like it too much. Oh, bishop e2 would be a big, would be a bad move. All right, I'll play queen e2 then, and then maybe a3 to kick away the queen. But then they have queen b3. Yeah, awkward. Uh, now here, taking with the pawn, they have rook to e8. Uh, okay, well that means I have to adapt. I will play rook takes, and then possibly rook fd1. So I am now attempting to win the knight on d5, d7. Wow. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm game. I'll go for it. They've done rook takes. Yeah, takes here now. This is the this is the key moment. This is the uh, the really critical point of the, of the game. How do I choose to play this? I think I have to go knight a4. Because if I move my queen anywhere, there was either rook e1 check and mating, or there was um, something else that was horrible. So I think knight a4 is forced. And they've taken, I'll take, ooh, I'll take it. And I'm a piece up at the end of this. So it should win, but again, I have to, I have to remain cautious. I can't, I can't just relax and, and play this out thinking I'm going to win everything. So quickly save my knight. I'm attacking, I'm going knight e7 or knight d6 next turn. Trying to win a little bit of material. I don't like them having all these passed pawns, but first I'm going to go for this bishop. It's, it's too annoying. I don't like that bishop. Take the pawn. So I'm now hitting c6 as well. Uh, all right, then bishop d5, anchoring the bishop. No way they're going to ever take me. h4, giving my king some breathing room. Okay, got the king some breathing space. And then the plan is to take here and then play rook a5. Unless they blunder and play rook c2, which is nice of them. And I think I'm going to end the tournament here. Because I don't think I have enough time to actually play a game. Uh, so, uh, essentially, I'll try and go to the um, main screen here. Uh, this was, a I think, a very, very nice tournament. Uh, so, two minutes left. If I click on the tournament.
here we go. So the team I am part of is Absolute, where essentially uh, I didn't do the best out of my team. We have a fellow candidate master who is a very good player and a friend of mine. Then we also have on number three is a player. I've played against him once and I know him a little bit. Also good player. Uh, he is, I think, about 2150 in over the board FIDE standard play chess. Uh, I'm number four, square taker. And number one, I believe, is a grandmaster, but I'm not totally certain. He's very, very good, obviously, with 2,500 is his uh, current over the um, current uh, blitz rating on this site. And with a minute left to go, 254, 241, 234, and 233. So the real battle is over third and fourth place. And... You can see the little crown next, uh, just to the left of each name. That means that their score counts towards the the final score of your team. So the 254 is made up of the top seven players, because there are obviously some teams with only maybe half a dozen players or seven of them, and other teams with 20 people. So to make it more fair, they've said that the top seven in, e in every team uh, have their scores counted. And our bottom three players, uh, for example, Ice48, Zuckertort's Neighbor, and K91, they're all pretty solid players. Uh, they're all, uh, they all have ratings, and they, they're not just sort of the odd casual player. They, they have played over the board. And they've all got fairly respectable scores at 30, 25, and 20. With 20 seconds left to go, it's looking very promising that we will come first and win the event. Uh, so thank you all for watching this, and I hope to see you in the next video. I, I will stop it once the time is shut down and all the scores are confirmed. And it's looking like our score has been confirmed. 256 was the final score. LCTC uh, it looks like winning their final game to add, their, add a couple more points to their tally. And that is us being promoted. So we're now in Division 5. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.